Well, hey guys, so what's uh, what's going on? Basically, I made this 55-gallon drum cockproof. I uh, filled it with cement, metal, and uh, a whole bunch of rocks. That way, when they try to drill into it, they're not able to. The only way they're able to remove this kid's arm right now is to break it. And I really don't think they're going to do that, considering he's peacefully assembling. So, how long did it take you to get into that? I'm my body. No, it just takes a few minutes. All you got to do is uh, pull the off. Okay. <laughs> so, um. Anyways, what brings you out? To, what what brought you to this? I gotta I gotta know, and I think people want to know too. Yeah. My two-year-old grandma fought cancer four different times, and now has Parkinson's. She served in World War II and fought for her country, and now because of uh, predatory medical loans, uh, uh, predatory medical uh, companies, she's either given the choice to leave her house or continue getting med uh, medical care. I think that uh, a woman who fought for this country and worked her ass off her entire life deserves the American dream that she was following. I can't see why I would want to continue living in a world like that. I sure as hell can't raise my children in a world like that. World like that. So, if me slapping myself to a 55-gallon barrel uh, full of cement is what it takes, I really not All right. I like it. Yeah, it comes down, honestly, to the poisoning of our water tables, erosion of topsoils around the world, hair cutting of rainforests. I mean, Gas is just getting badly out of balance. Climate change. I want to have a world that I want to raise a kid in in 20 years. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm chained up. Yeah, dude. That's why I'm not leaving. Here's my And at the camp, we need more space. I got to tell you, it's pretty bold of you. And when I heard about it, I was like, wow. All right. So. And more space for the camp. More space for protesters, <laughs> activists, the displays, everyone. We just need more space. More as space. Movement as an organization. As People. All right. That's really so, like, what was it like last night? Like, was it? I know it was really cold, but did anybody feel it? Or uh, the uh, loving uh, neighbors that we have brought us blankets, uh, whole bunch of hand warmers. Somebody showed up this morning with hot coffee and donuts and expressed their love for us and for holding up the Constitution. Because apparently, no police force in America is able to do that right now. So what do you so think? We're so doing it for them. Yeah, you guys. You guys haven't been arrested yet, and I heard that there aren't any plans yet. So what do you think about that? People should start moving in. Let's make some new neighborhoods. What's that? What was your question? So what do you think about just like, how long do you think you can last? I mean, in Devon? Four days. You give me an extra drink, I'll basically keep it in the drink. I'll be fine. Yeah, no. My, my body system, I dealt with this so much. That really, at first, I'm not going to go into it, I think. Is that all right? I can just sit here, fine. I'm not going to do anything. What do you do, Tammy? Smoke? All right. You should drink and eat. I'm good. Well, good luck. Thank you, man. Yep. I want to give that food just some cheese. Cheese.